kill him. Oh, we did it. We did it. Yeah. Look at all the bone fragments we get. That was so fun. That was such a cool boss fight. Whoa. This game's blowing my mind. Somewhere, circling the Caribbean Sea, a man named Hunter is tracking down the wicked Mr. Saturday. A foul spirit of death and master of voodoo who has placed a curse on Hunter's bloodline. Saturday, the Lord of Bones, has taken refuge on a small isle. He lies in wait, plotting to transform the face of the earth into a never-ending undead party. In secret, he has been using his dark magic to raise a powerful army of ghouls from the underworld. Once powerful enough, they will spread out and turn everyone and everything into bone. Armed only with his enchanted boomerang, Hunter must venture deep within Saturday's lair. If Hunter fails to defeat the villain and lift the curse, he and everything else will turn undead. You'd better hurry. Hello everyone, this is Lair with Blue Television Games and welcome to Skeleton Boomerang. This is an awesome new indie game by Anim Ace, uh, one of the developers that has been a friend of BTG for a while and actually provided us with another game a while back called Aliens Go Home Run, and we loved Aliens Go Home Run, so I'm really excited to check out Skeleton Boomerang. Let's get it started. If you didn't pick up on it, uh, my name is Hunter, so I really, really like this game because the main character's name is Hunter. And in that opening cutscene, there was actually one line that had both Hunter and Lair in it. So I like this a lot. Oh, okay, this is neat. We got an overworld. I should probably go to that skull, huh? Oh, there's lots of skulls. Okay, let's go to this ice cave skull. Okay, we got our boomerang. So, the boomerang moves faster when you hold the button in, so if you throw the boomerang... Oh! Ooh, I almost killed myself. Okay. Uh, so if you throw the boomerang and then tap the button again, you can pull it back really fast, or you can just hold the button and it goes out and comes back really fast. So that's really neat. You can aim your boomerang up, down, and diagonally. Sweet. I don't know what those pickups are supposed to be, but... Oh, I really like that I can throw my boomerang in any direction. That's neat. Okay, can I double jump or anything? Nope. Let's see. What is that? Whoa! I can make my boomerang stop? What uses does that have? Can I jump on it or anything? Weird. Okay, I gotta mess around with that, I guess. Ooh, I did not think I was gonna make that jump. So the controls are really, really sharp right off the bat. Everything feels really responsive. I feel totally in control. Wow, okay, this is really, really neat. I love the old school feel to this. And the graphics just have a lot of charm to them, too. Like the protagonist, Hunter. And the enemies, too. Whoa, those have faces on them. They're kind of like, uh, they remind me of something from Yoshi's Island. I'm pretty sure there was a level in Yoshi's Island that had falling... Well, you know what? It's those um, spiky things. If I can find a picture of one, I'll put one up. Down plus roll performs a sidestep dodge. What's roll? Whoa! Oh, what?! That's awesome. There's way more depth to this than I thought there was. That must be a checkpoint. That's kind of like Shovel Knight. So I wonder what the sidestep dodge is good for. Let's see. I can go up there now. So if you throw your boomerang and then you kind of outrun it, you can kind of make it swing around in the air. That's neat. Wow, this is really impressing me.
Is that an enemy or is it just... No, it doesn't seem like it. Bonk. I like how the pickups come to you automatically when you kill enemies. This is crazy satisfying to play. I already... I just want to say that I hope this game is super long. Look out for delicious bone meals hidden in walls. Oh, look at that. So I guess that wall bone gave me some health back. It's kind of like wall, wall meat from Castlevania. Um, if anybody's been watching Psycho Waluigi, I know it's been a while since I've done an episode of that, but um, having a boomerang that comes back to me automatically is really something I can get on board with. I think that was a boss. We almost died there, but we made it, so. I could really use some more wall meat. Ooh. Is that it? Nice, we got a thing. Oh, I love those transitions. Wow, this is so cool. And it told me it saved the game for me down there in the bottom right, or bottom uh, left. Aw, oh, stupid skeleton. Yeah. Wow. This is really, really neat. I've got to get used to not being able to attack until my boomerang gets back to me, though. Sometimes I forget that I don't have it. Ooh. Press forward to go fat. What? Oh, and this thing. Ooh. Okay, so far so good. Press the attack button twice to activate your technique. Okay, we've already done that a few times, but that's our freezing the boomerang in the air move. Oh, we died. All right, let's get back there real quick. I'll just die a whole bunch. Okay. Maybe I can get more of these bone fragments this time. Yeah, I think I got all of them. Nice. Oh, dang it. Those snowball skeletons get me every time. Ah. Okay, this is where we have our technique. Oh, so I wonder if I attack this guy on the wall... And maybe if I hold it where he is, maybe it'll hurt him like twice. Nope. No, no! Hey, I'm alive. I thought for sure I was gonna die there. Can I jump through here? Huh. Well, I thought, I guess it's just showing me that that's over there so I can get it when I make my way over that way. Okay, we'll roll jump. Wow, the platforming in this is really, really satisfying. The rolling and jumping and everything, it just feels good. It's kind of like, um, just because this is like the closest point of reference I have, it's kind of like Mega Makers. Oh no! How on earth did I manage that? I wonder if any of the levels have checkpoints in them. I'm not very far into this level, so it's not bothering me really, but... Yeah. I'm just kind of curious. Uh, but as I was saying, it's kind of like Mega Makers uh, sliding and then jumping. You get a little bit of extra distance on it just from the momentum. It's pretty cool. Really satisfying to pull off a good roll jump. Not letting you catch me off. Oh, come on just when I was sassing that skeleton, and they both got me. Ugh. I'm just not very good at this. Sorry, animes. I wish I were better at your game. But at the very least, I can say I really enjoy it. Maybe that's better than being good at it. Let's just ignore all of that. Kill him. <laughs> alright, alright. Jump over it kill. 
What's this? R and R2 change techniques. Oh, okay. So that comes back to me faster when I hold it. This one, I can stop in midair. Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. Checkpoint. Oh, yeah, I passed a checkpoint before. I forgot all about it. Just like uh, Shovel Knight. My bad. Look at this tree. It's all decorated like it's Christmas. Yeah. Okay, I really like the power that lets you, or the technique that lets you pull your boomerang back really fast. Why didn't the skeleton cross the road? <laughs> what? I must have missed out on what that was supposed to be. Ooh, Ooh that kind of scared me. I didn't know what that purple thing was going to do. Oh, we died. That's all right. We got a checkpoint. I don't think we were very far back at all. Okay. Aw, oh, man. Too slow. We'll just skip this guy again. Alright, I'm not gonna die this time. Almost died. Jump. Super jump. Super jump again, but then don't go too fast. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, we're golden. Totally in control right now. It's like Donkey Kong's, um, the train things, because he didn't have the guts. Oh, there's the end of the joke. The, the punchline, some might say. And we get our little golden skeleton head thing. Sweet. So it's, it looks like there might be multiples in each level. If I go back in here, is it the same level or is it different? It looks the same. So maybe somewhere in this level there's like a another hidden item or something. Maybe that's what we saw. Okay, so exit. Wow, this is pretty cool. Oh, look, maybe you can have different weapons. There's like slots for multiple weapons over there next to that boomerang and... Neat. I'm sure we'll figure out a little bit about that. Let's go try this other level that we skipped. Oh, look, you can even roll in the overworld. That's so cool. There are so many little details in this. I'm just loving. What a game. All right. What's this called? Kickoff something? I'm doing these levels in the wrong order, but it's still pretty cool. A to jump, X to attack, B to roll. I wish I had known that earlier. You can roll in the air for extra distance. Wait, in the air? Whoa! That's awesome. That's gonna change everything so much. It's like Charge Kick from Mega Maker, but all the time. Oh, I love it. Okay, I still, oh, I thought I was gonna die. I can swim too, wow. You can roll through enemies and your boomerang too. Ooh, so if I wanted to keep the boomerang going, I could just roll. Wow. So much thought went into making this unique. I mean, it just, it doesn't feel like anything else I've ever played, but it's kind of like a an amalgam of a whole bunch of really, really good ideas. Beat multiple enemies in a single attack for a combo bonus. Get big combos, get a high score, unlock upgrades. Check stats for info. Stats? Okay. I mean, okay is the only option I have, so yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. This is so cool. I knew to expect good things because Darby played Aliens Go Home Run and that game looked insanely fun and he kind of gave it glowing reviews in his quick look of that. If you haven't seen that, you should check it out. There will be an annotation here at the end of the video uh, linking to that quick look that Darby did for this developer's other game. But um, it seems like we've just got kind of a gem of a developer here. I mean, we've only played two of their games, but both of those have been like low budget indie hits almost and i i have to confess i feel kind of bad because i got this game from alt uh, a friend of mine and one of the developers on the btg discord um i got this from him 
oh, three weeks ago or maybe a month ago even, and I forgot to do the video on it, and I feel so bad. I really apologize for that, but I mean, I feel so much worse now that I'm actually playing it, and it's this amazing game that people have been missing out on <laughs> because I forgot what I was doing. Ugh because I forgot to make the video on it. So I'm sorry to everybody. Sorry to the developers. This is an amazing game. Thank you so much. It's like that perfect old school feel. Wow. That's, that's really cool. This gives you a lot of platforming options. Having that air roll... I really like that. And there's the end of the level. We get our little golden skeleton thing. All right, so we have three of those now. Let's see, is there anywhere else we can go down here? Can't get back on our boat, it doesn't look like. Can we go in here? One key needed, so we need a key. Two gold skulls needed. What's needed to go over here? Four necklaces. Wow! This overworld is even cool. T-bone. Oh, is this a boss? This looks like a boss. Let's do it. Wow. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, that was bad. Oh, I'm not going to make it through this boss on the first try. No way, no how. Well. Maybe. This is crazy. This is so cool. Oh, it makes me mad at myself that I've waited this long to play Skeleton Boomerang. I don't know how much this game is. I'm going to look when I get done with this. And I'll let you guys know how much it is on Steam because you guys need to just get this game. Oh, he's just a disembodied head now. Get out of here. Kill him. Oh, we did it. We did it. Yeah. Look at all the bone fragments we get. That was so fun. That was such a cool boss fight. Whoa. This game's blowing my mind. Sweet, and now we have the key, and we can go through... Oh, we got health up. That's nice. I'm sure I'm going to need extra health. Wow, that's so neat. So now we can go through this gate. I don't want this game to end. I don't know how long it is, but I hope it's, hope it's pretty long. Swampy Cemetery, Breezy Ravine. What else do we have? Let's see, we need 10 necklaces to get through there. Is there a map or anything I can look at, maybe? Uh, I don't see a map. That's okay. Four keys. Oh, look at all these gates. Two keys needed. Two keys needed. Does it use up the keys? No, it doesn't look like it. So once we get two keys, we can unlock two more areas. wonder what this is. I'm going to go on in here. Defeat all skeletons. Oh, it's like a challenge. We only have 13 seconds to defeat all of the skeletons. Oh, we only get one hit, too. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Our health went up by one, so we can take another hit now. Okay, we gotta kill this guy. How many are left? Oh, he takes more than one hit. Dang it. <laughs> there. That's the last one. No! Oh, man. We got to do it this time. We got to. We were so close. Oh, I can't believe how close we were. Okay. 
Okay, so far so good. We're doing better this time than we did last time, I think. And we gotta kill this guy. Okay, kill him. Kill him. Okay, now we just got a hand guy left, I think. So I just have to not be grabbed. And we got this. In the bag. Oh! Kill, kill. Did we do it? Oh no, another one! <laughs> Please. Oh, we did it! We did it! Yeah! Skeleton Boomerang may be one of my favorite indie games that I've played this year. It's so cool. The platforming is fun. The combat is fun. I'm not finding anything that's annoying about it. The enemy placements aren't annoying. This is really, really cool. I wholeheartedly recommend Skeleton Boomerang on Steam, and I'll tell you how much it costs here at the end screen but thank you guys so much i hope that some of you guys pick up this game it's really 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 fun skeleton boomerang is both a love letter to classic retro platformers and a unique new take on a tried and true formula it can be purchased now on steam for 9.99 let me know down in the comments if you pick up skeleton boomerang if you want to see more i'd like to know about that too Next, all that's left to do is hit the big subscribe button over on the right, and after that, check out our quick look at Animace's other game, Aliens Go Home Run, or maybe take a look at this other video from BTG we think you might enjoy. Take care, guys.